Welcome to Smoothieville. I'm going to show you a couple exciting smoothies that we have at Just Paint. These are different smoothie blenders and or this are powder applicators. Or powder applicators and these are different uh, sponges to apply powder. Um, this one is the very fabulous black foam smoothie. Can you wait wait can we show it Let's closer? Let's show it. It's kind of got a thicker firmer foam texture that's kind of kind similar of to that. Um, texture, but it's on a nice, really sturdy smoothie. Oh, let me. Um, okay. One second, let me loosen up my Star Blend Black. But anyhow, you just can smooth it around. Oh, I'm gonna get really black today. Here yeah, we go. Let me bring new ones just to show them. I've been working in a coal mine. The next one is the disposable white smoothie. These are all washable. We didn't want to wash them right now because they were gonna get wet and dirty. So the white smoothie really has a little bit rougher of a sponge so it grinds up the star blend more um, and then you're just gonna have to go through and pat it into the skin. Here's how they how they look when new. <gasps> they're, and you not, can they're more white. Yeah and you can see a little more the texture of the sponge there. Um, but they are glued on really, really well, and you can wash them over and over and over, and they stay on nice. And let me compare it to, just so you can see the different textures. Uh, can you move a little bit? That light is blinding. No. Away from me? Yeah. Uh, towards me a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but this is more like a smooth, uh, velvety kind of Material. Feeling it material. That's the Maxine's Foamy. This is a Maxine Thomas Foamy from Low Cornell. And this is the Meron one, uh, which is pretty similar. Very similar in material, if not the same. Seems like a little bit longer here. It's just a bigger surface, as you can see. And uh, a shorter for a shorter handle. Mm -hmm. uh, Some people have problems with their smoothies loosening out of the if you do have that problem, just put it back in and use something to squeeze it and pinch it tight to hold it in. Um, you also want to be careful that you don't wash them too hard because they have a plastic applicator in the middle that's holding it together um, and you don't want to damage it. So this is the Maxine Foamy Smoothie. Woo! When you, when you wash your smoothies, you put soap in it and then you just kind of do these and you rub it with your fingers and massage it you don't just like you know grind it against grab, stone. yeah like <laughs> whatever oh words don't come to my mouth today but anyhow just be super gentle with them okay so we've got this one here this one here and this one here um, you can see the application of those guys and then I'm going to use this black disc and there's like really nice soft not one sponge. better than the other because also a lot of it depends on how much oils you have in your skin. You need a lot more uh, powder in that sponge. There we go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Starblend Black is one of the more transparent colors too in Starblend, so it's kind of hard to get a good coverage with the idea of this one primer. is this the size of it so you can I, Anna was just like using it for small application but you can load the whole thing and you can see it's almost the size if she lets me pick it it's almost the size of the Starlink container so you can pick up a lot of powder and go faster mm -hmm. and then this is the black wedge foam wedge it's a little bit uh, less dense than the, the disc and it's a really soft, smooth sponge. Mm -hmm. So that's me uh, with lots of black powder and all of the little performers. We also have a Royal Smoothie Blender that Coming. is pretty similar to this. It has a little bit smaller um, Area foam surface. and it seems like a little bit thicker padding inside of it and a thicker material. So I like that one too. All right. All right. That's it about. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.